In this video, I'll show you how to export a high quality file with a low file size. Hi everyone, I'm the web guru and I do tutorials in video, audio, and photography. So be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. And here inside Premiere Pro, I've already finished editing a short video and I'm gonna click anywhere inside of the timeline to select it and then go up to File, Export, Media, which will bring up the Export Settings dialog box. Now in the Format menu, I'll choose H.264, which is one of the most popular forms of compression, and it will essentially generate an MP4 file. And inside of the Preset menu, I'm going to choose a high bitrate setting, like Match Source High Bitrate. Actually, one of my favorites is Match Source Adaptive High Bitrate. Um, and then I'm also going to click on the output name to choose a location for my export. And then the key here, I chose adaptive high bitrate, but we're going to be changing the bitrate. The key is to go down to the video tab and then to scroll down a little bit and we're going to look for the bitrate settings. So right here it says bitrate settings and right now the target bitrate is set to 19 and that is measured in Mbps, that's megabits per second. That's the amount of data per second of video. The higher the bitrate, the higher the quality and also the larger the file size. And the key here is to reduce this target bitrate as much as possible. But before that, I'm gonna change the bitrate encoding to VBR to pass. Now VBR stands for variable bitrate. That means that the bitrate will vary throughout the video depending on its complexity. If there's a lot of movement and motion and changes, the bitrate will go up. If the uh, video is static and there's not much movement, then the bitrate goes down. So it will intelligently adapt the bitrate. Uh, two pass means that it'll go through the video essentially two times. Uh, to generate a higher quality file. It will take more time to export, but that's okay. Now, here's the key. For the target bitrate, I'm actually gonna bring this down to a pretty low value, like two. And then I'm gonna bring the maximum bitrate to a slightly higher value, such as five. Now, what this means is that throughout the video, the bitrate will vary from two to five, depending on its complexity. And this is actually gonna generate a very small file size. You can see that the estimated file size in this case is 18 megabytes, but that's just an estimate. We'll take a look at the exact file size very shortly. And I'm also gonna check this, use maximum render quality, which often increases the file quality. And then I'm going to click on the export button. So this will take longer than normal settings, um, but that's okay because it's gonna generate some really good results. Okay, so the video has finally exported. Now I'm gonna to go to my hard drive to compare. I did export a high bitrate video earlier today and it came out to be 120 megabytes. And now, after changing the bitrate settings, this is the video that I just exported and I brought the file size down to 18.9 megabytes. So that is a reduction in file size of around 84%. So that's pretty good. And if the original file were one gigabyte, then I would be able to compress it down to around 150, 160 megabytes, um, or maybe even less. It, it really just depends on the nature of the video clips. And if I play them, so I'm gonna play the original. So that one looks uh, pretty good, and I'm gonna play the compressed version. And to the naked eye, I couldn't really tell the difference between these two video clips, even though they have very different file sizes. Um, and unless you're going to be doing like some high-end work like color grading or motion graphics or something like that, you probably won't notice the difference, even though we've reduced the bitrate quite a lot. 
So uh, hopefully this technique was useful to you. I use it all the time whenever I need to generate small files. So be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or if this is also working for you. Um, and I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.